Welcome to App Design Tips. This video is part of a free complete icon design tutorial. If you want to follow along, you can download the exercise files using the link in the description below. Okay, now it's time to convert these filled icons into outlined icons. And this comes in handy having both so that you can have some inactive or active states and toggle these icons in between. So to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to select all of these artboards and I can hold down Option or Alt and just drag down to copy all of these artboards at once. Now instead of it saying notification hyphen one, I'm just gonna change this to say notification hyphen outlined and I'm going to select this text here if it lets me and copy. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this on all of these artboards here so we know these are the outlined versions. Okay, and then let's get started with the bell icon so we can zoom in here. And first thing we wanna do is just select everything. We can ungroup if we'd like, and then let's just add a border of three pixels and remove the fill. Now it's important that this border is sitting inside of the path and not outside or in the center. If it sits inside, now if we drag this over here and align it with this other one, it's going to align perfectly. Especially if we turn this red, you can see that everything matches inside of here and it creates a nice toggle in between the two. If it's outside, for example, it's just gonna look weird as you try to toggle it. So now that we have that set up, I'm just going to change this a little bit. So I'm going to add a node here in the center and just move this up something like this. That looks good. And now that I have these two shapes, I'm going to merge them together. And let's see what's going on here. We have some weird effects with this shape. So I can move this like so. Come over here, move this. And that looks much better now. Now I can see how this looks. If I just move this over here, still looks really good like it aligns and it's much simpler. Now these shapes are much easier so I'm gonna select both of these. In fact, I can copy this style and just Option Command V or Alt Control V on Windows. And let's see if I can do the same thing here. So Option Command V, just to paste that or Alt Control V on the Windows. And that looks pretty decent. If we move it over here, it still aligns perfectly. So that looks good. Now this calendar might be a little bit trickier. So what we're going to do here is we'll delete this rectangle here. And then we want to select this shape and just give it a border black of three pixels like all the rest. And let's remove this fill. And it's starting to look okay. But we want to move in here and just see what's going on with these guys. So we might want this fill to be white right here. And then let's bring these down a little bit just so it looks a little bit better. And then all we need to do is click on this rectangle tool. And I'm just gonna draw a rectangle up here just for reference. And I'm gonna make this uh, three pixels. Give it a fill. And now let's line this up which is the base of this one. And now if I copy this, or cut it rather, and click on this artboard and paste, it's going to paste it in that exact same place that I had it up here. And now we have our outlined calendar. So you can see really quick, we created these field icons, we created some outlined version, and now we can use them together. And I'm actually gonna show you how you can toggle between field and outlined in the next video. If you're enjoying this free icon design tutorial, I have a complete course on learning Adobe XD for UI UX design. You can find a link in the description below with a steep discount included for my YouTube fans. This course will cover everything from learning the Adobe XD interface to designing and prototyping an entire app from start to finish.